What? Good buddy, my snack, and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today's video, we'll be talking about the archives that come up on the Dead by Daylight TTB, and that will be a new feature in addition to the main game whenever it comes out. I know a lot of people who don't actually like to play the PTB before the new updates come to the live game because they don't really care enough to kind of go through the whole downloading process and update process to kind of um, test out all the features. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for those type of people who are watching this video. Also, a lot of people just don't like the fact that you can't earn actual progression through the PTB, which is understandable. So I'm also here to kind of just to show them or explain some of the archives and um, updates to result. So I might actually end up making videos on future changes from the patch notes. It really depends. But yeah, today we're going to go over the archives. I just want to let everybody know that before I actually begin to talk about the archives, I will leave in the description below a link to the patch notes themselves and a link to the details about the archives if you want a different explanation or more uh, further images and details about the archives. Just for everybody to know, just in case I get a couple things wrong or, or maybe I'm just, you know, stupid and I don't really understand what's going on. So before we actually get into this video, I'm going to go ahead and hit the news tab here because we're going to go over kind of what uh, the differences between the PTB archives are compared to how the live game archives are going to work as I feel like these are pretty important differences to kind of establish or to talk about um, just so everybody knows what to expect again when the archives come out in the live game. So it says right here, welcome to the special PTB where we have a sneak peek at our exciting new feature the archives. Now that there are several, several differences between the PTB version and the future release of the archives. For more information about this feature, please see our blog post. So here are the PTB version differences. So for the totem to levels, for the PTB, each level will unlock one day after the previous level, but in the live game, each level will unlock several weeks after the previous level. Collection and entries. PTB, no memory or log entries will be available in the master challenges, but this the collection submenu will be locked. Live For the live game, it says most ch master challenges will reward memory or log entries to view in the collection submenu. Putrid serum rewards. PTB, it says it's unavailable in the rift, but for live game, it says the Halloween event currency will be available in the free track of the rift with enough to unlock unlocked up to six pieces, two full outfits from the Halloween Blight or Hollowed Catalyst Collection. This is basically referring to the Halloween Blight event that will be coming up pretty soon with new skins. Oryx Cells get this is the PTB will give everybody 2,000 Oryx Cells so that they can enter uh, and, and test everything out when it comes down to the Rift Pass and the Archives. So these will not transfer back to the live game, it's just given to you while you go to the PTB just to test things out. Again, it's not going to transfer to the live game. And overall progress, it says for the PTB, and as with every PTB, no progress would transfer back into the live game. With mid chapter 13.5 releases, everyone will have a fresh start with the archives. So it says, with that said, enjoy the archives and feel free to leave your feedback on all our social media channels. So that being said, that's kind of what the differences between the PTB and the live game archives are going to be, just for everybody to have a heads up and know what to expect, like I said before. Now we're going to go ahead and head into the archives and explore everything that it has to offer. And here we are, these are the iArchives. This whole amazing new feature, quote unquote, from the developers, they in, uh, integrated into the game that will be coming out into the live game in a couple of weeks when the PTB is over. So I guess the basically the best way to kind of explain this to any of you guys who might uh, be familiar with other games is basically a, a battle pass. It's for the most part what this archive system is. It's a battle pass that has a few other additional features added to the battle pass itself. Basically, we're in the current tome. It's level one tome. And as I hover over here, you got the prologue special and you also have all these challenges that basically connect to what eventually lead towards an ending the epilogue basically if you complete these challenges like it says on the bottom here you can get shards and blood points for completing these challenges and these will help you level up and upgrade your tiers for the battle pass now you might be wondering so what is the battle pass where is it well if i go to the rift right here is kind of what all you need to know we have the battle pass right here we have the free pass we have the premium pass and we have all these tiers on the top right here the battle pass you can see that this is where uh, all of your shards that you collect through completing some challenges will help you up upgrade to each tier and unlock all of your activities. So that's kind of like what you have to do in order to upgrade your battle pass and to get rewards. You have to complete challenges, get the blood points, get the shards more importantly, to upgrade and unlock your tiers. Now remember when the developers talked about how there's gonna be more uh, lore and stuff in here, I'm assuming that's what kind of this like prologue stuff is and this epilogue stuff is. As you complete challenges and make your way through the web, you can earn a uh, little short mini clips and videos to help give you a little bit of lore of some characters or for the game. Um, as you can see in the background here, there's also this man holding his whatever and it's, it's like floating above his hands. So over here on the left hand side, there's this little book here that we obviously can't click. This is supposed to be like, a, I'm pretty sure a 
little widget that you can go in to be able to constantly go back and look through all of your unlocked video clips and story and lore and that's pretty much all there pretty much is to this archive system on the top right hand corner there's tome levels you got level one level two level three and level four right there we have access to level two the ptp has not been out long enough for uh level three to come and four to come out but basically these are just like the uh, tier level one where you're completing a set of challenges getting through unlocking your, your little lore short videos and clips you are completing the challenges to get your uh your, your shards and your blood points able to upgrade again your battle pass to unlock your rewards and as you can see here with the premium pass we have a bunch of cool little items here um new new items are coming into the game called charms it's another cosmetic item that is introduced here and these are actually pretty cool um and these will also be attached to kind of like your character's belt as a survivor and stuff like that so to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about, about what the charms, what they look like, some of you guys haven't actually went been to the BTP or uh, PTP and seen the actual gameplay itself. And when you go to the customized feature for any survivor, you have three new, new charm slots. And you can see here, they updated their rarity widgets for a lot of the customization. But there's going to be three charm slots right now. I only have two unlocked uh, because again, I had the 2000 orcs that the PTP gave you to kind of test through everything. And you can see here on the side of my character, there are the charms attached to um, her side. So these are what kind of what the charms are. They're just a little nice little um thingies that kind of just hang off the side little charms uh kind of the, the way the game describes it and they're pretty cool cosmetic items uh to be bringing to the fog so everybody that's going to be pretty much it about the actual archives are becoming into the live game soon within the next couple weeks when the ptp closes i hope i did a pretty good uh, or a, a, at least a decent job at least explaining about what the archives are or what not i guess a brief summary about what the archives are it's just a battle path so you complete challenges and urge shards to upgrade your battle tiers to unlock your rewards it's it's just a simple system like that but sprinkled in there is also some extra lore and video clips to kind of give more detail about the game's background and some character background uh, but for the most part it's just a battle pass that you complete challenges to uh, earn currency to upgrade your tiers and earn your rewards that you buy with either the premium pass or the few little rewards that you might get from the free pass again if you have any questions um there is going to be two links down below the, the links to the patch notes to the btb and the link to the actual full-on details of behavior themselves set up so you can read more about the archive system and uh yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did don't forget to slap the like button on the channel subscribe i might make more videos on some of the other changes they did i know the nurse got some updates um i can show more of the ui and the stuff that they changed throughout and yeah that's gonna be it for me my name is mac i guess i'll talk to you guys all there peace out